Poland is preparing to transfer six more MiG-29 aircraft to Ukraine in addition to the eight that have already been delivered or are currently being transferred, Polish President Andrzej Duda said at a press conference in Warsaw on Wednesday following talks with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. For MiGs from our warehouses have been transferred to the Ukrainian Air Force in recent months. For MiGs are now being transferred additionally, that is, already eight, Duda said. We are ready to hand over six that are being prepared for this. They could be handed over fairly quickly, the Polish president said. At the same time, according to him, we have MiGs that have been modernized according to NATO standards. We will still need these MiGs, but at the moment when they are released after the arrival of new aircraft, I am sure that in the future we will be able to transfer more, if there is such an opportunity, but this will require the consent of our partners. The first 12 MiG-29s delivered to Poland were 9 MiG-29 AS and 3 MiG-29 UBS in 1989 to 1990. The aircraft were based at Minsk Mazowiecki and used by the 1st Fighter Aviation Regiment, which was reorganized in 2001 as 1 Eskadra Lotnik to Tactic Snego, or 1st Tactical Squadron. In 1995 to 1996, 10 used examples were acquired from the Czech Republic. After the retirement of its MiG-23s in 1999, and MiG-21s in 2004, Poland was left for a time with only these 22 MiG-29s in the interceptor role. Of the 22 MiG-29s Poland received from the German Air Force in 2004, a total of 14 were overhauled and taken into service. They were used to equip the 41st Tactical Squadron, replacing its MiG-21s. As of 2008, Poland was the biggest NATO MiG-29 user. Poland had 31 active MiG-29 SARS of 2017. They are stationed with the 1st Tactical Squadron at the 23rd Air Base near Minsk Mazowiecki, and the 41st TS at the 22nd Air Base near Malborg. There have been unconfirmed reports that Poland has at one point leased a MiG-29 from its own inventory to Israel for evaluation and the aircraft has since been returned to Poland as suggested by photographs of a MiG-29 in Israeli use. Three Polish MiG-29 as were reported in Israel for evaluation between April and May 1997 in the Negev Desert. On 7 September 2011, the Polish Air Force awarded a contract to the WZL-2 company to modernize its MiG-29 fleet to be compatible with Polish F-16s. For MiG-29s from 1. ELT participated in the Baltic Air Policing Mission in 2006, while 41. ELT aircraft did so in 2008, 2010, and 2012. Polish MiG-29s played the aggressor role in the NATO Tactical Leadership Program Joint Training Program in Albacete in 2011, 2012, and 2013. On the 18th of December 2017, a MiG-29 crash-landed in a forest near the 23rd Air Base while performing a landing approach. The pilot did not eject, but survived the crash with minor injuries. This was the first crash of a MiG-29 during its nearly three decades long operational history in the Polish Air Force. On 6 July 2018, another MiG-29 crashed near Paslek, with its pilot dying in an ejection attempt. Technical issues are suspected to have played a role in the crash, another crash followed on 4 March 2019. This time the pilot ejected and survived. On 8 March 2022, Poland announced a willingness to transfer their operational fleet of MiG-29 aircraft to the US via the Ramstein Air Base, in exchange for aircraft of a similar role and operational capability, with the intent of transferring the MiG-29s to Ukraine to use in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. On 16 March 2023, Polish President Andrzej Duda announced that Poland would transfer four operational MiG-29s to Ukraine, with the understanding that additional aircraft would be delivered after servicing and preparation. Poland is the first NATO country to provide Ukraine with fighter aircraft. The Mykoyan MiG-29 is a twin-engine fighter aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. Developed by the Mykoyan Design Bureau as an air superiority fighter during the 1970s, the MiG-29 along with the larger Sukhoi Su-27, was developed to counter new U.S. fighters such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. The MiG-29 entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1983. While originally oriented towards combat against any enemy aircraft, 
Many MiG-29s have been furnished as multi-role fighters capable of performing a number of different operations, and are commonly outfitted to use a range of air-to-surface armaments and precision munitions. The MiG-29 has been manufactured in several major variants, including the multi-role Mikoyan MiG-29M and the navalized Mikoyan MiG-29K, the most advanced member of the family to date is the Mikoyan MiG-35. Later models frequently feature improved engines, glass cockpits with HOTAS-compatible flight controls, modern radar and infrared search and track sensors, and considerably increased fuel capacity. Some aircraft have also been equipped for aerial refueling. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the militaries of multiple ex-Soviet republics have continued to operate the MiG-29, the largest of which is the Russian Air Force. The Russian Air Force wanted to upgrade its existing fleet to the modernized MiG-29 SMT configuration, but financial difficulties have limited deliveries. The MiG-29 has also been a popular export aircraft. More than 30 nations either operate or have operated the aircraft to date.